Hello there people. My name is Ify Thompson and I hope you enjoy the vlog. So um, it's our third day in Italy, right? And as you may have seen in my previous video, we began our holidays in Venice. We were there for one and a half days. The other half of the second day, we journeyed three hours to come here to Milan. Boy, was it tiring. But after breakfast and much rest, we are recharged and ready to experience Milano. Hi guys! Hi. So, today is another beautiful day in Italy. We are heading towards Milan Centro, like the central part of Milan, and uh, we're spending the day there. We're doing the Sempione Park. We're visiting the castle of Sezeco, which is just right at the Sempione Park. And then from there, we'll probably visit the Amani Gallery or Museum. And then we will do the, the shopping mall, fashion big shopping mall. Um, and then we will do the Last Supper, Leonardo da Vinci Last Supper. And then get some gelato, of course. Eat lunch, dinner maybe. Okay, so to keep you guys on track a bit, our entire summer holiday is traveled on wheels which means we road trip from Budapest, Hungary to Italy. Yes, we did. Now, we decided to do this vacation by car mainly because of the flexibility the car gives when you have a baby, a three month old to be precise, and also some other reasons, but I will share them with you at the end of the entire summer vacation, like doing the whole recap thing. But now, we're here in Milan, so let's see what she's got to offer. This clip really shows that Milan is full of designer shops, especially ones originating from Italy. Now, we regretted coming to the center by car because it took us forever to locate the parking lot we were driving to. So my advice is, don't enter the central area by car. Like, rather park somewhere in the suburban areas and use public transport to get around. I must say that I was impressed by their architecture actually. Um, I also like that whether the buildings were old or new, they were in good condition. This intersection right here shows that while others were busily working, we were touring, like in the middle of a hot Tuesday. <laughs> We're in the courtyard of the Castello Sforzesco. It's a fortification built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza, the then Duke of Milan. But nowadays, it is mostly hosting Milan's municipal museums and other cultural institutions. We have gone past the castle entering the Sempione Park, another must-see according to people. It is located between the Sforzesco and the Arcodella. It has a really nice ambience, good for getting fresh air, having a nice stroll with a partner or kids. It has large trees and a man-made lake. That monument you see ahead is the Arco de la Pace. It's also known as Porta Sempione. It's a triumphant arc with statues. These kind of arcs you can find in most European cities or countries. Fitness groups also like to meet here as we see. Another advice for my summer sandal sisters, <laughs> please leave them at home if you want to come here. Like your feet will hurt so badly, you won't believe it. It was pure torture for me, my goodness. Still about the sandals, if you end up bringing one, then one of these mini car things must probably be for you. Here there's the dining area. This other building, I'm not quite sure what it is, must just be an extension of the castle.
Now, we're headed to a place I think you'd really like if you're into fashion. This place is the Amani Shilosh or Silos. It's a fashion art museum dedicated to the Amani style. It was founded by Giorgio Armani on April 30th, 2015 to mark 40 years of his career. How cool is that? We found out that on the ground floor, there's always a temporary or seasonal exhibition. Now, at the time of our visit, there was the exhibition of Magnum Photos themed Colors, Places, Faces. If you like what you see, the exhibition is still ongoing until the 29th of January, 2023. So you're in luck and of course go ahead and book your tickets now on the first floor you will miss the permanent exhibitions from george armani it runs from the first floor all the way up to the third these are the looks of the autumn winter collection of the 2012 women's wear androgynous okay so now we're on the second floor where we can see the ethnicities influence on style these were 1990s spring summer collection And finally, on the third floor, you will find the stars-themed collection, which represents Amani's relationship over the years with Hollywood and with cinema. Also, since we had Zara, all we do is smile and say thanks to strangers about how cute she is. It gets a bit awkward sometimes, but thanks. <laughs> this was day five of our stay in Milan. On day three, after the Armani Museum, we couldn't make it to see the Duomo as we planned. We couldn't make it to see the Leonardo da Vinci Last Supper. We couldn't see the Emmanuel Vittorio. So we decided to rain check it for this morning. You know, try to squeeze it in somehow before going to Croatia for the final part of our vacation. So we entered the Duomo. Oh my God, I was so happy to finally see inside. Like, oh my freaking God. The construction of this church began in 1836. It was built over like six centuries. So like, that's really something. This cathedral is truly a joy to behold. It stands at over 108 meters at its highest point and is adorned by more than 3,000 finely sculpted statues. By the way, we went in with a guided tour, but of course our three-month-old thought it was a terrible idea, so we got out pretty quickly and heard almost nothing from the tour guide. Another exciting thing we did was to go on the rooftop terrace. It's a real must see. Like, do not miss this while you are at the Duomo. Apart from the fact that this cathedral is the world's second largest, it also offers such a rare opportunity to visit its rooftop. I mean, how cool is that? Because you know, most European churches don't allow this. Like, this is really unique about the Duomo. The sights are breathtaking. We had a truly good time looking over Milan from the top. Another epic thing is how close you get to be to the stone carvings and intricate designs once you're here at the rooftop.
Okay, so a little moment of truth for me. If I knew that this rooftop terrace tour was going to be this extensive, I'm not sure I would go up with my baby in my hand. It was pure torture for me and the baby and everybody who had to walk behind me. Um, now, I didn't do this because I thought it was such a great idea, but because they said that we could go up and come down with the elevator. You know, as I remember, there's even like, you can choose and it's even pricier, of course, to go by elevator. And I remember we went for that option, but it wasn't, um, they didn't deliver on their promise because we went up with the elevator, but coming down, it was not allowed to do it. So that was a thumbs down for me. But um, yeah, overall, I would say I loved being there and experiencing the rooftop. It, it's magnificent. You should definitely partake in it. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if anyone noticed that I entered the Duomo in a skirt and came out in shorts. <laughs> That's because inside the cathedral, you're not allowed to show your legs and shoulders. Most churches are like this, actually. So again, if you noticed, I repeated the skirts from day three. <laughs> this shopping gallery is another major landmark of Milan. It is said to be the oldest shopping mall in the world. It's a four-story that houses almost all the luxury fashion brands' boutiques. People come for shopping, dining, people watching, and window shopping. I personally notice a lot of badass outfits. The interior of this place is just magnificent and an absolute stunner. Like, everybody's phone was out the whole time. Here, we were trying to do the 360 spinner photo booth thing. <laughs> oh my goodness guys our four days in italy was over and we were going to croatia from here the day before which was day four is missing that day we went to como lake como and that video you cannot miss i'm going to roll it out sometime at the beginning of next year but there's also the Croatia video coming. I hope you enjoyed this video of our day in Milan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. My name is Effie Thompson and see you in my next video. Bye. You give your heart to me.